Hey guys, nights suck. Um, so I've been working as a police officer at a small county in northern Georgia. And, uh, you know, I enjoy it. Great people. I, I, I enjoy who I work with. Uh, so far, the community is a good place. The sheriff's a great guy. Zero problems with all that. But working nights is terrible. Um, I, I, I hate it. My wife and I are, are ships passing in the night right now. We never see one another because we work completely opposite schedules. When I'm away, she's asleep and vice versa. Uh, you know, I'll be at work, she's sleeping, then I'll go to sleep and she'll get up and go to work. And I mean, we just never see one another. So uh, changes might be afoot. Um, but it's also kept me from coming out here and working on the plane. Uh, two main reasons kept me come from coming out here. One, at you know four in the morning, three in the morning or something like that, the last thing I want to do is come out here and putter because it's dark, it's cold, it's, I just, motivation has been, has been hell trying to come out here at nights, uh, especially considering I work 12 hour shifts and then I'm off and I basically I just go to sleep and then I get up and immediately go back to work for another 12 hour shift. It's been brutal. Uh, I'm on a seven day vacation right now because I was going to go insane. Otherwise, um, that's why I'm out here. Yay. Um, the, the other thing is it's been really cold. Um, I remember one night I came out here, I was determined. I was like, I'm going to get some work done, damn it. And I get out here and it was four. Four. <laughs> I literally, I went out here and I just sat shivering in front of my heater. I've, I've got one of those uh, turbo blowing heaters that, you know, 70,000 BTUs. And this is a big hanger, right? 70,000 BTUs. I need like four of those things in here to warm this place up. It's just not enough. So I, I shivered for a bit and then I got the hell out of here. I went home. Uh, so hopefully here soon, uh, some changes will happen. I'll be back on a, a reasonable schedule and it won't be so damn cold out here and I'll get some more work done. I've had a lot of people reach out to me and ask where I've been. That's where I've been. I'm still going guys. I'm not quitting. Um, also, the other thing I wanted to say thank you, um, I'm going to create a list somewhere of all of the awesome people that have been um, donating. Uh, through vans. Uh, you know, I want to create a list of all the people that have uh, started their vans aircraft project and have put my builder's number down, uh, which causes vans to give me a hundred bucks. It's no, it's no money out of your pockets. It's vans sending me a hundred bucks to say thanks. And there's been like, I want to say 10, I, I'm not sure, but I want to put that list of names together so you guys know who they are. So like at the end of the video or something, I can just say thank you to all those people because it's really amazing uh, that you guys would take the time to send it into Vans and have Vans give me a hundred bucks. I mean, it's only a hundred bucks, which I, it's a hundred bucks, you know, I'm not going to complain. So thank y'all very much for those of you who have done that. Uh, also to my patrons, you guys who have been uh, donating that way, you only ever have to pay when I put a video out and that's only if I mark the video as a paid video so which I don't not every video is a paid video but thank you for that gosh that's it's amazing I don't make a killing on that or anything like that you know some of these YouTube celebrities I can see how they're making a living full-time doing that I'm nowhere near doing that this is like like I say in my uh, my little teaser video uh, it's enough to afford me coffee every once in a while <laughs> or a beer you know if you ever want to buy me a beer or buy me a uh, you know buy me a coffee putting money onto the patron you know a buck uh, that, that does it so thanks guys I'm gonna get back to it Every once in a while, while I'm out here working on the plane, you're gonna see me running back to that dark blue box in the background. Uh, what that is is a 3D printer. Uh, I've had the notion that I was gonna be printing some jigs and some maybe supports and other things uh, on my own 3D printer, more of a kind of playing with it thing. That's a piece of crap. Uh, the support is terrible. The machine itself is, it seems really high quality, but it's not. It's just junk. Uh, and their website is bad. You have to buy their own their own special uh, boxes of. What it, ugh, long story short, don't buy an XYZ. It's it's they're they're garbage. Um, other than that. What you're watching me do throughout this video is I'm continuing to do the match drilling of all the various holes between the skin and the rib. Uh, again, going just, it still boggles my mind the, you know, CNC computer controlled magic that Vans has managed to do to where uh, they build two parts 
completely separate from one another and yet somehow all of these holes match up. Uh, so you line up the rib, you put the skin over, and then you do the match drilling to make sure the holes actually line up. You, you're slightly enlarging the size of the hole, not by much, uh, just to make sure everything is lined up. And so that's, that's what I'm doing here. I'm going through and I'm match drilling all of the skin to the internal ribs, as well as that, that uh, J channel strut that's in there that that's for support you got to match drill all those and you're actually creating those holes in this case so that's everything you see me doing here I've had a number of people ask me if it makes financial sense to build your own plane versus buying one uh, I've talked about this previously in a different video uh, the answer is no, nothing about airplanes at this juncture makes financial sense though I'm told with the um, with the massive influx of uh, pilots being hired in China that maybe that will be changing because uh, suddenly the demand for more pilots here in America, which means pilots are gonna be paid more, which means those individual pilots might get their own plane, which means plane prices might go up. That's a, that's a lot of ifs, right? But, but uh, no, nothing about planes one way or the other makes any financial sense. I'll link to my uh, previous conversation about buying versus building. Uh, ultimately, uh, yeah, sometimes I wish I had just bought a plane, but then I wouldn't be having this awesome conversation with you. But I would love to know what your thoughts are. I mean, comment down below. What do you think? Do you think it's worth the, all the work? I mean, you're talking 2,000 some odd hours of building on an airplane that ultimately, I mean, this plane's gonna probably cost me $150,000 once I'm said and done. Well, I mean, you could buy a $150,000 airplane. Would, would that be something you'd rather do? Comment down below. So when you're working with this fuel, cla uh, fuel cap flange, um, a couple things. One, these um, alligator clip style Clecos are incredibly useful. Uh, it allows you to open that up wide enough that you can kind of get in there and you can hold it in place because it doesn't come with any holes drilled in it uh, you know, out of the box. You're going to have to drill the initial holes to position it. But the other thing you have to take into consideration when you're positioning it is that this surface is curved and the fuel cap flange itself has a curve to it, which I'm not sure you can see real well here. So yeah, it's really important that you get the flange oriented correctly with the curve uh, that is in in the skin of that particular part as as the as the curving of the of the front of that part of the wing happens you want to make sure that the curve of this matches up if you turn this just 90 degrees suddenly it's flat here and it's curving this way on a part that curves this way and it could cause the skin to deform and look really messed up um, you have to place this on there and then give it maybe a little bit of, you know, use the pliers or a little bit to, to shape it if necessary. Uh, this one's good. The other one I had, uh, it, it was it was curved, I, I don't want to say perfectly, but 95% of the way, and there was like one like little part that I kind of had to bend down a little bit to, to make the, the, the curve contiguous. Um, this one, this one's good though, for whatever reason, who knows. Uh, and then what, when, what I was doing is I was placing it back on the back. I used those alligator clip style Clecos to hold this to it. And then I drilled a top and bottom hole so that I, then I can Cleco those in and then match drill the rest of the holes all the way around. So that's what I'm doing there. Ah, what is that bright thing in the sky? Wait, is that the sun? I've heard so much about it, but I've seen it so rarely. Uh, especially of late. Um, so, daylight! I'm finally back on days. Uh, had to make a change. Uh, the night thing was killing me. It was getting to a point where I was never seeing my wife at all. We were literally two ships passing in the night. I would come home and go to bed. She would get up and go to work. She would come home. I'd get up and go to work. And, and that just, uh, that ain't gonna work. So, uh, made a change. So, finally, I'm back on days. I'm doing daytime stuff which means I get to come out here during the day. Uh, there's, uh, there's just nothing worse than trying to work on an airplane at night. Uh, I couldn't do it, uh, I hated it. So anyways, hopefully now I'll have a hell of a lot more time to continue working on the plane uh, now that I'm actually on a reasonable, 
reasonable schedule. Uh, nights are awful. I don't know how you people work nights. Anyone who works nights, God bless you. I don't know how you do it because I couldn't do it. So what you see me doing here is I'm working on these tank attach Zs. Uh, these are, they go on the underside or the, the rear side, I guess, of the tank and they will actually attach up to the spar. Um, there are seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, seven of these, uh, six of which are, have these, um, nut plates on here, so they're kind of screwed down. That you know, One side is actually uh, mounted to the tank, and the other side sits up, uh, up into the spar and you screw it on, so the, the ultimate idea is the whole tank can be pulled off for service or whatever you need to do. So that's what I'm working on these. Uh, flush riveting uh, uh, these, these nut plates on, and just generally making sure deburring, getting all the sharp edges off and whatnot. So that's what I'm doing here. There is one of these that doesn't have nut plates that you'll attach at the very end, and I'm not sure why that one doesn't have nut plates yet, because I haven't gotten that far in the instructions. Anyways, guys, that's where I'm going to end this one. This was a little bit of a twofer in that the first half was like a month ago, and then the second half was here recently. Uh, I'm going to be trying to do a hell of a lot more of them now that I'm back on days. Uh, gosh, nights was... I, I can't... I cannot tell you how much I hated nights. It was just awful. So now that I'm back on a day shift or a reasonable schedule anyways, I'm going to go back out here. I'm going to keep working on the plane. I'm going to try to get out here several times a week and have these videos come out a lot more often. I really appreciate you guys sticking around and not losing patience with me. For those of you that have pinged me over and over asking me, where the hell are you? Uh, I'm still here. Um, Again, I really appreciate it. Here's a list, by the way, of all the people that have donated to me through Vans. So each one of these people made Vans give me $100. And if you guys want to be on that list, I'd really appreciate it. It's nothing out of your pocket. Basically, all you do is you use my builder number when you submit your purchase for Vans Aircraft, and they send me 100 bucks. Hey, you know what? Thank you so much for this group of people. I really appreciate you guys are awesome. Also, if you know that you're one of those people and your name's not in that list, you might want to call Vans because they didn't send me it. I do have all those checks. Also, if you really want to help out, but you don't want to buy an airplane, then what you can do is you can either click that thumbs up or like button down there, or you can uh, submit to my patron campaign, which means basically for as little as a dollar a month, you can support me here. Um, it, you know, you only get build when I actually push a video that is actually a build video. Some of my videos are not build because I didn't feel like they're worth it. And in so doing, eh, you're buying me a cup of coffee. You don't have to buy me a whole plane. Though if you want to buy me a plane, I'll let you. Have a good one, guys.